uh, one question here is why we need uh, okay so let's say we have 1 lakh users okay all 1 lakh users will be having ITL role no no yeah so when we buy service now they will give you a list of ITL users maybe based on the license that we buy okay maybe they give you 25,000 licenses okay we from platform administration side we need to monitor that number always okay if we cross beyond that number service now will come and say okay you you your number is increased so you are eligible to pay extra amount they will give you some offer kind of festival offer okay so <laughs> we need to keep this monitored and also let's say you cross you this number is crossed to some 500 users are added what we can do we need to again analyze is there any inactive user inactive group there there is a group which is inactive from last three months okay and it is not being used in the system okay this group have 50 people okay we can take a decision says remove this group from the ITL role Okay, how we can take a decision? Maybe seeing, okay, when the last ticket is assigned to this group. Right, this is the way we can conclude, no? How a group will be activated or inactivated? Like, uh, how on what basic basis we can say like a group is inactive or active? Based on the assignment of the ticket, right? If any ticket is assigned, it is active. If no ticket is assigned, it is inactive. So, keeping that point, we will just conclude like okay uh, from last six months there is no ticket is assigned to this group so it is an active group consult the group manager okay the group manager is also nowhere in the system he left the organization four months back then we are good remove this group deactivate the group okay if you deactivate the members also will be removed from the role so out of 550 people will be removed so we maintain this kind of administ high level things we make an add remove users also okay but this this kind of activities we do when we are maintaining a bigger platform right Nama you got this point everyone uh, yes sir so when we are seeing administration na, administration is a bigger word someone are giving their baby to you you have to take care of it okay and you are responsible for that baby if something goes wrong you are the accountable that kind of job we are doing it we will be part of that it doesn't mean like okay a big company will give you service now to handle by one okay you will be part of a team where you are you people are managing okay so we should know all these things what is the impact we should not add we should not remove easily we should also think like let's say some one guy will ask me okay so there is one see one more point my last point maybe there is a role okay like app app managers maybe apm planner there is a apm application okay and the application is too costly okay and who can access this application is apm planner role uh, apm means application portfolio management it's a bigger application okay now one license is maybe 25 lakhs okay we only have two licenses okay consider like and this role is associated with okay group called APM uh, APM support group okay now okay someone raised a ticket selecting this group or someone send you a mail saying please add two people to this group can we directly add if we add na, that means mm -hmm. service now will come up and say okay we, you, we are very much welcome okay please pay for this resource also they are very much fine okay but they will see, they will politely say okay we got new two more two more customers okay you need to pay this so when we are adding a member to group we need to keep these things in mind whether the particular group is associated with any application an application which is chargeable 
those things and all we will be learning it now it is very hard because you don't know but going forward we will be seeing okay but this is the reason behind the group admin user administration when you are saying user administration means all these things are involved in real time right nama clear